when I was about to quit my job in banking and leave my banking career, I had an extreme fear of failure in a sense that what if I quit my job, I, I leave behind my, my, my position, my salary at the bank and I try to go into the entertainment industry and then I completely fail and don't achieve anything at all. So, so the risk would be that I might possibly need to go back to my banking job and work there again. And I was thinking, is that something that I want to risk for the possible reward of actually doing something significant in the entertainment industry? And after thinking for a while, I thought, yeah, actually, actually, I'm okay with that risk. I'm afraid of it. I'm afraid of failing and embarrassing myself and not achieving anything. But I'm willing to take the risk because I was much more attracted to the possible reward than I was afraid of this risk because I thought that I can always decide to go back to my banking job. The risk might be that I might not be able to start at the same position um, where I left but I can always go back and find a job in banking. Failure or at least temporary failure is always a possibility when you are trying to do something new, especially when you are trying to achieve something worthwhile. So there is always a risk of failure. Here it's all about trying to identify the risk and quantify it as much as possible. So you can really look at what the risk is and what the reward is and try to weigh it off against each other and make, uh, make a conscious decision about how much risk you are willing to take to achieve this reward. So fear of failure is not something that is there for you to eliminate but something for you to pinpoint and to be aware of so you can dissect that fear and, and make an informed decision about whether you want to proceed or not. This is something that I myself experience all the time. For example, if I start writing one of my blog posts, like shortly before, I always feel like a, a bit of fear about how it will turn out. Like, for example, will this blog post be good enough? Will I have something important and relevant to say? And, and so on. I think it's, it's a completely normal part of life and most people, like almost everyone, experience some fear of failure. Fear is actually a good and important thing. It's something that is very necessary because fear keeps us from making fatal mistakes. And I don't want to be so naive as to say that there are no mistakes and no failure in life. Um, I, I mean, you can think of it that way in a way that you try to frame failure as something that will lead you to success because that is true. There is, there is no real success without experiencing any kind of failure. But I do think that there is such a thing as a fatal mistake or a fatal failure, if you will. Like, um, and I think that is something that we all want to try to avoid, right? I mean, we, for example, we want to avoid to um, spend so much uh, of our money, our savings on a business venture to the extent that we go bankrupt and go into debt and become miserable. I mean, of course you can bounce back from that, but it is also reasonable to say that um, we want to try as much as possible to try to avoid such a situation. And that is where fear of failure actually comes in handy and is something useful for us to have. So now the problem I think is not about trying to eliminate failure because that is something that is almost impossible to do. But what I think is important is to try to identify what kind of failure it is that you are afraid of. Are you afraid to uh, embarrass yourself or are you afraid to get fired? Are you afraid to lose money? So I think it's a very useful exercise to find out what exactly am I afraid of in this particular case. And only if you know what you're afraid of will you be able to try to overcome that. So if you look at hurdles in running, a hurdle is something that you need to jump over in order for you to be able to continue to run and eventually maybe even win the race. A hurdle is not something that you want to eliminate, that, that you want to get out of the way completely because if the, there's no hurdle then there's no race, right? So you might have this fear that there's a possibility that you'll not be able to jump high enough and then your 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 foot will 
hit the hurdle and then it will fall down. And I think it's okay to have this fear, but then you need to decide, are you going to still participate in the race? Um, is this a risk worth taking, the risk of failure, or would you rather just not join the race at all?